I am not a specialist. This is a video that I think is very long overdue, and I think that it's time that I sort of put out there, really clarified where my perspective on technology and development and all this stuff come from comes from, because I think that really informs sort of a lot of my opinions and takes on different things. So first and foremost, like I said, I am not a specialist, I am a generalist. So what do I mean by this? What I mean is that I develop software in a very general way and I am trying to build as much as I can as fast as I can and I'm trying to do basically everything at a solid surface level. That means that I am trying to work alone and build out full MVPs. I'm trying to build out full scalable apps in a reasonable amount of time with a reasonable amount of effort put into each piece. Means I'm going to be using technologies like Stripe, Auth0, or Cell to shortcut a lot of the more specialized things that you would need to do within an app. And that also means I'm going to be using more general languages like TypeScript or Go or Python or whatever to solve my problems because these are easier to write, easier to deal with, easier to hire for, that kind of thing. They may not scale quite as insanely far as a Rust app or a C app or a Zig app or whatever, but they're going to get me where I want to go because I'm a generalist. And I think that programmers and those who are in technology, like I said, they fall into two sort of categories and the specialists are the ones who are going to be writing the crazy languages like rust they're going to be super in to databases and database systems they're going to be writing embedded systems they're going to be writing insanely high performance backends that are going to scale to hundreds of millions of users they're going to write all of this crazy stuff and these guys need to exist if you are if you fall into that camp if you're more of a specialist then i have full respect for that that is awesome people like you need to exist it's just not me and that's what I'm trying to say is that it's not me. And that's where a lot of my opinions come from. I've had people ask me a lot about why don't you use Rust or why don't you use this technology or whatever. I think that this is going to come up again when I start talking about deployment more. I don't use uh, Kubernetes or anything like that. The, really, as far as I'll go is I typically use very managed platforms, I do some light containerization with Docker, but not that much because I really just don't need to do all that much more. And I'm not going to do all that much more. Like, hey, you're not going to see me doing a bunch of stuff with Terraform. You're not going to see me doing stuff with K8. It's like I said, versus the specialists will. And if I did want, if my app did get to a point where I really needed all of those technologies, I would just bring in someone who did know how to do that. Because that's what I'm trying to say is I'm trying to just generally build out the beginnings of something and then have it scaled by a specialist later. And to give you perspective on that for my work, my nine to five is I work at an app agency. I'm typically building MVPs or helping maintain projects, or I'm always working on a pretty small team and we're always working on just trying to get stuff into production and the apps typically won't scale to too insane of an amount of users. Some will, and some certainly have, but it's not Google. It's not Apple. I'm not working on Apple's back end. I'm working on an app, the back end of an up, up and coming company who's building version one, version two, trying to scale up there. We're going to be using more generalist type technologies and approaches to really just make this stuff happen. There are, te there are times when I'm working by myself and I need to bring an entire full stack application to production within a few months. Well, I'm going to be utilizing more generalist type things that I can do that. That's not a bad thing. That's not a wrong way to develop, but it's also not a wrong way to develop to go ahead and do all of this in Rust and do everything super low level and everything with hyper specialized technologies. That's not wrong. It's just a different way of doing it and it's not my way of doing it. So hopefully that gives you some perspective on why I advocate so much for the technologies I do. The reason like the one of the biggest ones is Go and that's really become one of my favorites lately because it's a sort of best of both worlds where I get that sort of ease of use, really great syntax, really great support, really nice to work with. Um, it's just so easy to use. I get that benefit. Plus, I also get borderline low level performance with a garbage collector. It's completely insane. I have no idea how they've done it, but they have and I love it. So that's why I always always advocate for that because it's, it solves my problems really well and it's really performance. So that's why I always talk about the performance is because it's a bonus. I advocate for that because like performance with Rust or Zig, like that's a given that better be there. But with Go, it's kind of a bonus because you also get these super general uh, bonus features. So Again, this is not a video about that, but I just want to put that out. Hopefully that makes sense. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day.